Hey dancers, are you here because you can't complete a full pirouette on the dance? Do you find yourself losing balance before you can complete the rotation? Even worse, not being able to finish a complete turn? These are normal problems, but can be so hard to fix. So stick around for three tips and three exercises that I'm gonna give you that are gonna make the difference on your pirouettes and the dance. When doing pirouette and the dance, it's really important to focus on what is your supporting legs heel doing while we are turning? It's pressing forward, right? We're moving heel forward when we are trying to keep a good turn out of the leg in passe, or as you may know it also on ready day. Therefore, my first exercise for you to really work on your supporting legs and the movements of your heel is to go back to the bar, facing bar, two hands on the bar, fifth position, right or left leg in front, it doesn't matter. And we are going to do passe with the leg on the back. And now we are going to work quarters of promenade away from the bar. And the down promenade, we are going to end sideways to the bar, but you're not gonna stop the movement until you ensure that you arrive to a great turnout. And my retire passe, it's in a good turnout as well. You're going to do as many repetitions as you need. You're going to begin by lifting one hand of the bar and gradually you're gonna do it with two hands. And once you master one cut of a promenade, you're going to do half of a promenade that is gonna end giving back to the bar. Now remember that promenade is doing very small movements of the heel that almost imperceptible and they're going like quickly, 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 quickly. Moving forward to our second tip, I will ask you to think and focus on your action in leg. So once you know that you have to push that heel forward, you need to remember and work on having a very dynamic passe, which means your back leg is going to peel off heel, almost demi point, and your toes are gonna push very fast up to a passe or to a retire. And this is a movement that is happening together with the push of your supporting leg. How are we gonna train that? Again, facing the bar, second exercise that you're going to do, two hands on the bar, and we are going to do quarter of a turn, ending sideways to the bar. You're going to do fifth position, demi plie, and you are going to peel off, shoop, and end in a quarter of a turn, sideways to the bar. Now, remember that already you know that you have to push your supporting legs heel forward, and you have to end in a really good turnout, right? Once you master quarter of turns, you're gonna start adding half of a turn and down. And you're going to do as many repetitions as you need to ensure that you control and master balance before breaking the position down. Moving along to our third tip, we are going to be away from the bar. We don't need the bar anymore. And we are going to focus on arms and head coordination. It's really important as arms are in charge of the energy that you're going to use to stay in balance as well to get dynamic movement. So my arms are basically gonna be in a third position. My right arm is gonna be in first, and my left arm is going to be in a second position. Now, what are we going to do? When we do demi plie, my arms in first go to second, and then they are going together to join in first position, right in front of me. How the movement look together, legs and arms. Fifth position, right leg in front. First position, arms. We are going to open left arm to the side. We are going to do demi plie. And now we are going to do pa and close. And this movement is gonna be in coordination and all together with supporting heel and peeling off that really dynamic passe. But don't worry yet, we are not gonna do a full turn. We are gonna ensure that we remember everything we did before by quarter of turns. So we do demi plie, and remember to press heel forward, dynamic passe, close arms together, demi plie. Repeat the same, quarter of up turn, demi plie. One more, demi plie. Last one, demi plie. Once you master this, you are not breaking the position, you are not falling on the floor, and you are doing a really tall and nice releve, then you can increase to half of a turns and then you can do a full turn. Now, let me sum up all of the tips for you. Demi plie in fifth position, right leg in front, and we are going to do 
demi plie, my arms are going to close together. I'm going to push my heel forward and I'm going to peel off my back leg really fast and dynamic to a pirouette. And this is how it's going to look like. To learn to do simple pirouette and yours, or even master your multiple pirouettes, you can click right here. Check down below in the description of this video where I'm going to leave a ton of links for you on how to improve your ballet technique. In saying that, go ahead, click your next video and let me know how it goes.